What's going on, everyone? Today we are once again capitalizing on a recent Disney release. This time it is... Ah, wait for it. All right, let's uh, look at the developers first. Who the hell are Traveler's Tales? It's kind of a cute uh, graphic there, though. And who the hell... Who made this game? Hopefully we're in good hands. No, I've never heard of these people before. Um, but uh, just a reminder to everyone, Mr. Potato Head is in fact a registered trademark of Hasbro. Don't forget it. And yes, today we are playing Toy Story to coincide with the release of Toy Story 4, now in theaters. Like they need the uh, extra ticket sales, but you never know. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Woody there looking very, uh, very unsure of Buzz's arrival here. All right. What? Come on, no demos. I don't I don't need that. Let's go back to the, the title screen here. Oh, that looked crazy. So, uh, full disclosure, I um Jamie and I started a let's play of this the other day, and it's a lot harder than any of us I say any of us, either of us, anticipated. Uh there was some frustration, some swearing, some meltdowns, many on my part, and I'm not sure it was uh, making a great let's play, so I thought now that I had a little experience with it, I'd start fresh, and uh, there you go. Hopefully we'll come out better for it, but what do we got? English, German, and French. Usually you can tell who the developers are, or their nationality based on the, the languages they provide to you. So maybe we got some Germanic and Franco developers in the obligatory English, which we'll keep on for all you good people. And I'm just curious, what is help here? Oh, look at that. Bonus star, extra try, as we call them when we were kids. Have an extra try. Hit points and checkpoints. Okay, remember those. That's all the help you get. What if you asked for help in any other situation? Someone just told you that. You were bleeding out. Anyway, options. What do we got? Draw. So we got... Let's see, what do I want for the whip? Oh, it's just two buttons, which is nice. A little dancing in the SNES controller there. I'm gonna go... I think you want... You definitely want B as jump. That's not gonna change. It's just what you want to whip. And I think I want Y. It's nice. It's an almost NES kind of feel. The simplicity there. And, uh... Ooh, there's our number of tries. And I guess this is... Oh, this is the difficulty. Okay, so you got Cowboy, Deputy, Sheriff, Marshal, and Yahoo! <laughs> I wish those were the five difficulties for every game ever. That's fantastic. We'll stick with a cowboy. I know, I'm, I'm assuming there's not different endings to this or anything like that, but uh, once upon a time, storyline. So we can have storyline or no storyline. Well, everyone's gonna be completely lost if we don't if we turn that off. Okay. Cool. Oh no no no! no. Put that back. And I think we're all good. All right. Start her up. There goes Buzz. Now it's just story. All right, some context. Okay, everyone. Today is Andy's birthday, and we need to find out what presents he's going to be given. I can't do the uh, Tom Hanks forever, like, upper register voice that he never seems to lose no matter how old he gets. God bless him. Andy's birthday is today, quick! Send the sergeant downstairs with his team of green army men to see if Andy has any new toys! That could put us out of work, basically. That's, that's a smart decision. Okay, sergeant. This is the code red. We need a recon post downstairs. Now how can I help? Sir, remove the lid on my bucket of soldiers so my men can get out. Then find the baby monitor on the shelf and knock it down to my men below. Jamie did a very nice uh, army voice. Sergeant voice. I'm uh, sorry to lose that, but that old army game. Open the bucket of soldiers and then locate the baby monitor past it down. So basically what they just told me. Watch out for uh, trains and planes. So yeah, I can't call, uh, quite call it a blind run. Not even going to bother with the sound effect since I did mess around with it a bit. So I know the basic moves now, them being two. You can whip things with your little talking cord there. You can jump and that's about it. So let's get those toys, and there's one of those planes they warned me about. I also want to mention, um, and there's Mr. Potato Head, voiced by the late, great Don Rickles. May he rest in peace. I actually just saw, um, Toy Story 4 today, the day I'm recording this, 
and I absolutely loved it. And that's why I was especially excited to get back and play in this game. There go the army soldiers. Three and four. Excellent movies. I haven't seen the first two in a long time, but I, I rewatched three to prepare myself. And yes, I did cry again in the last ten minutes of that movie, because my cause I'm human basically. Come on. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Whether, you know, you're an adult, you're a kid. The first movie came out when I was a kid, so I was in Prime Demo back then. And then, you know, I saw it too, obviously, when that came out. Everyone saw that. Um, and then uh, I don't understand why Andy has balloons with ball bearings in his room, but nevertheless. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, when the third one came out, like 10 years ago or something like that, I checked it out and uh, was not prepared for that ending, that last 10 minutes, like I said bawling in the theater and I bawled in the theater today as well so there you go that sounds like I'm saying like I bawled in the theater no I was just it's weeping today as well they did a very good job I highly recommend it here's our uh, there's our radio how do we get on that I think I need to jump from this to the shelf here and then there we go Done. Level one. Count it. And there's my happy dance, which they stole. See, I made that joke when Jamie and I were playing this, so I feel weird saying the same things, but you didn't hear that, so I guess all's fair. Okay, man. Let's move, move, move. The army men file out of Andy's room and down the stairs. I gotta watch my narrator voice and my army man voice, lest they meet um, or overlap. Carrying the baby monitor. All right, take cover, men. Hiding in a large green plant, the troop watches Andy's party from a safe distance. I'm going to pull out the uh, King's Quest V narrator's voice. One of my favorites. The sergeant signals them to turn the baby monitor on and talks to Woody. Come in, mother bird. This is Alpha Bravo. Andy's opened all his presents and there are no toys to replace us. Wait. Oh no, a surprise present. Andy's taking it upstairs. Look out. No toys? What do they give him? Sporting equipment? Video games seem like they would be even more dangerous to a uh, toy's attention, or Andy's attention, away from the toys. What are we doing now? We need to get all the toys back to where they belong. Rex, Ham, and Robot go into the chest. RC, Car, and Rocky go under the bed. Okay, and I need to get on the bed. There goes Mr. P. And all his organs flying everywhere. What fun. So I need to... Smash that. So Pig's gonna he's gonna wander back and forth. Alright, robot's free now. And now I just need to save. So I know how to do all this now. We got about halfway through the game. It's gonna fall apart once I get to that point. Like I said, it was not easy. As far as I was concerned. These uh German Oh, he was just waiting. That was nice of him. These uh Germanic French developers. Cruel. Here we go. Crushing it. All right, they're back in the toy chest. It's like any game, I think, from my childhood. Like, the first time I play it, it's difficult. But once I get a few tries under my belt, that's why it seems like I'm decent at most of the games that I played when I was a kid. You know, some of the games, at least. Just because I have experience with them. I know what to expect. Here's the RC car. And I'm pretty sure... Muscle Man's going to be able to move that bucket now. And uh, I think the rest is done for me, basically. Now we can just admire Woody's posing. I like when he's dropping straight down. Looks like he's going to do some, bust some rap lines out or something. I don't know. What does that look like to you? It's weird. I caught a fish and it was this big. I like that too, the ninja pose. We're about to flop here once that muscle guy comes in here. And we go limp. There you go. Yeah. Doing the happy dance. It's a lot funnier the first time I said it in the other video. It's always the case, though, isn't it? The one you'll never see is always the best. How did I get under here? Oh, wait. No, Tom Hanks. How did I get under here? It must be an accident. And he's excited about his new toy. I'd better go up and take a look. Hey Rex, Ham, Potato Head, come and check out Andy's new toy. 
Hello? Are you Andy's new toy? Um, no. I'm Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger, Universe Protection Unit. I'm stationed up in the Gamma Quadrant of Sector 4. Wait, you think you're a real Space Ranger? <laughs> hey guys, Andy's new toy thinks he's got lasers and can fly. Hey, you say he has a laser? How come you don't have a laser, Woody? It's not a laser. I mean, it's, it's hard to know who's talking. It's not a laser, it's, it's a little light bulb that blinks. Gee, Woody, sounds like laser envy. Maybe we need a race to settle this. And that's what they did. Ego check. Trying to keep up with the buzz to show that you were just as good a toy as him, even though you're not. Swinging the hooks using your pull string, yeah. I like the uh, mechanic of the pull string, but you have to be very fine and precise to get it to uh, connect. And it's kind of annoying. Get out of here. So some of the drama is going to be gone in this one because I know that you beat the level no matter what time you get to the end. It just, even if you breeze right through it, it looks like Buzz is always winning. And if you take your time, it still looks like Buzz is winning. He waits for you, basically. Oh, man. Just watching that movie, you get to see Andy's room again. I don't want to give any spoilers away in four, but look at that. Boom. See? That should have connected, but it did not. It's very tricky. I don't like that part about it. Oh, that's a checkpoint. We should probably grab that. Get, oh, I, I need to swing up there. Let's see if I can grab that. There we go. Yeah. What's he watching? Mm, model Nader? Ralph Nader? Model Maker. Now, Jamie pointed that out to me, actually. Probably calling me a blind bitch in the process. <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah, I'm not invincible when I go through those, by the way. I'm speaking mostly to myself. Don't remember Andy having this many deadly things in his room. Room. Oh, is that an extra life? Hell yeah. I remember it being this big either. It just kind of sprawls and moves on and on and on and on and on. point here. Oh my god. So it doesn't kill you here if you drop. It just hurts you for one. In the later stages, if you drop down, you are dead. Ow. Oh, son of a... This stage three and I'm already about to die. Set. And I even know what's coming. I'm telling you. This game. Not the easiest. I'm sure there's some folk who will tell you it is. I didn't even know this game existed. I mean, I assumed there was a Toy Story game, but until I uh, opened up my large ROM folder, I, uh, I was not too certain. Whoop. And the annoying thing about, one of the many annoying things about this game is, they don't give you your health back after every level. That carries over, if you can imagine such a cruel thing. Do I get that, uh... May have got an extra health point there. Well, Woody, while well, you did keep up with me, you know I could fly around this room with my eyes closed. Okay then, Mr. Lightyear, prove it. Alright then, I will. Stand back, everyone. I think my buzz is a little closer. To infinity and beyond! Buzz leaps off the bed, diving down. Buzz lands on a big rubber ball that bounces him back up and into a toy plane mobile which swings him around the room. You know, like in the first movie. <laughs> I love how this is basically just beat for beat describing the entirety of uh, Toy Story. So, I mean, they, they took the source material, they didn't deviate from it. Woody can't believe it as Buzz lets go of the mobile, sails through the air, and makes a perfect landing back on the bed. A crowd of toys rush up to Buzz, cheering loudly. Wow, Buzz, thank you. Thank you all. Ah, uh, now all the toys think Buzz can fly. Hmm, well, in a couple days everything will be just the way it was. They'll see. 
In the morning, I'll still be Andy's favorite toy. What I should do now is stop worrying about Buzz and just get some sleep. And I worried quite uh, accurately that there might be a nightmare level after he said that. And uh, my fears were, (sighs) yes, they were uh, confirmed as we have to deal with a huge dream buzz, nightmare buzz. Oh, they gave me two health back. That's weird. You don't want to be in the way. Maybe they give you back one by default, I think. I thought I had... I guess it's just on the, uh... I was using a different controller before, and I thought I had turbo on one of the buttons, which came in handy on this. Here it comes. All right. Here it comes. It's nice that he warns you. So when he's... Touching his dealie. Here it comes. Son of that! Like, did that touch my foot? Really doesn't matter if you die in this game, outside of falling, because, like I said, your health carries over. So. Did I get all of them? Cause they all Take bunched that. up. Maybe not. really not that hard. I just, I make it out to be so much harder. It's just, it's a weird angle that he shoots you at. I probably could have, uh, could have gone underneath that that time. It's hard to say. Simple. And he hemorrhages, uh, stars, so that's nice. For whatever those are worth. I guess an extra dealy here or there. Alright, so let's see if we start with four stars or what the deal is. Oh, there's a password too. There's like five main levels, so that's this is like the start of the second one. The days pass and Woody finds he is no longer Andy's favorite toy. As the last boxes are packed so the family can move to a new home, Woody watches Andy playing with Buzz. Dinner at Pizza Planet? Asks... Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Dinner at Pizza Planet? Asks Andy's mom. And bring a toy. Bring a toy. Andy will take Buzz unless... Unless I can murder him. Uh, hide him behind... Beneath the... Uh, behind the cupboard, so Andy has to take me instead. What he picks up RC... That shouldn't be in quotes. What he picks up RC's car remote control and starts up RC. Now... If I can just bump the car into Buzz, with a look of pure evil on his face while he's doing it. Alright, use the RC car to try and knock Buzz behind the desk. So this is interesting. you think it was all just like a 2D side-scroller platformer. But they build in this kind of weird micro-machines feel. And, uh, I don't know. It's interesting. I give the uh, German and French developers a lot of credit for throwing, you know, giving you different looks, different play style, uh, the, the, whatever you want to call it. A lot going on in this game. Just wish it were a, a touch easier. I'd be happy if virtually like any part of the, um, the string, the pull string, if that touched the loop or the hook or whatever, then they would give it to you. Then, th- then it would connect. Just kind of cheap the pits in this game, which you'll see soon enough as I uh, pick right back up where I left off in that last Let's Play. <sighs> Swearing up a storm. No, I'll try to keep it G-rated, just like the film, in case there's any any kids watching. Concentrating here, but this does remind me a lot of the, uh, the school desk level from Micro Machines. Ooh, that was just fun. They had a lot of really nice voice acting talent to this uh, fourth one, I gotta say, too. Keanu Reeves has uh, Duke Kaboom. Duke Kaboom! Genius. Genius casting. Canada's greatest stuntman. Motor. Motorcycle stunt man. 
brilliant. Key and Peel had some fantastic scenes. I even picked up on one, literally, I think, one line from uh, Bill Hader. If you go see the movie, see if you catch it. I was like, is that Bill Hader? I kept waiting for a second line, because I was like, they wouldn't just give him one line. If you're bringing Bill Hader in, you know, he's got a very memorable voice. They, you know, they'd do more with it, give him a bit more, but now it's literally one line. <laughs> While trying to knock Buzz behind the cupboard, Woody sends him out the window by mistake. Uh, the other toys rush to help, but there's no sign of Buzz. Maybe Woody knocked off Buzz because he was jealous of him, suggests a random toy. I chose the pig. Woody, the toys... Um, no, I'm sorry, this is the dinosaur. Woody, the toys are really mad at you for what you've done to Buzz. Personally, I don't know, but I hate confrontations. Oh, I'm so upset. I don't even know where I'm going. If you can just tell me, get out of the bedroom, I promise I will do the same for you should you ever need me. I think that was the uh, the dinosaur. Voiced by the uh, guy from um, uh, Princess Bride, the inconceivable. Uh, what do you do to Buzz? He could try and do any of us next. Another toy gets too much attention and it's out the window. We've got to stop him. Look, there he is with Rex. Let's get him. Revenge of the toys. Avoid all the angry toys as you try to help Rex across Andy's room. Hint, remove the block to free Rex. So all those toys that used to be my friend now want me dead. Ain't that how it goes. I don't... A lot of backtracking sometimes. Oh, I can knock him back. And give myself a little bit more... More room to operate here. Son of a biscuit. I guess we're just launching. Okay. Can't always see where you're launching to. Oh! I don't like not being able to see where I'm falling, because then, yeah, you fall on a train or something stupid like that. Something stupid like that. Oh, extra health there. You would think Rex could murder all these other toys for me. Accidentally, of course. He doesn't have that in his heart. The Adventures of Buzz Lightyear. Oh, man, they even released the, the novel. And he's a big fan. And look how slim the uh, cowboy stories is compared to... Uh, the Adventures of Buzz Lightyear. Tin toy? Interesting. DDB. Dave Dathews Band. Ugh. They're coming a little higher. I think I can hit this, yeah. Like I said, it's not always obvious. And that balloon was about to hit me, so... Pulled back a bit there. Nice, getting my health back one checkpoint at a time. I'm sure I need to go up here, yeah, I remember this. Alright, I'd be really miffed if he hit me there. Potato head, get out of here. Still take you. Whoa, okay. Can I make that jump, there we go. Ooh, crud. They don't give you nearly enough, uh temporary invincibility either, I have to say, for my liking. I don't know, I don't want to go back too far. I don't see him yet though, is the thing, is he, where is he? Did he make it up here? I think I need to go back and help him. Why would you need multiple copies of the Adventures of Buzz Lightyear, like backups? Almost went back too far. Oh, another one. Nice. I missed all these the first time around. These little extra health bits they give you when you hit a checkpoint. Made the game a bit harder, obviously. I like that animation, too, of him about to fall. It's very... Oh, you'd think the money would be good. Something from, you know, we've been conditioned to be very greedy in video games as kids. Collect all the money. The rings what have you. But in this game, dangerous. Deadly. Right. There's a snake in my boots. How far are you going? You going all the way? Good for you. Oop. Oop. 
tied him up for a second. And then he breaks free, you can't reset it or anything. Alright. Tin toy. I don't think the smoke or the bubbles will hurt me. Again, don't like not knowing where I'm falling. I did some dangerous stuff. Cut it out. Ass. I like how loyal the dinosaur always was to Woody. That was nice. Step for step, that is my happy dance. Oh, how I hate confrontations! Frankly, I don't know what to make of all this, but you helped me through the bedroom, so hop on and let's get out of here! Alright, this, this part. Ride Rex to escape from Andy's room while avoiding the other toys. Run, Rex, run! I'll do a save state just for fun. See, so you gotta move him around, you can jump, that's about all you can do. You gotta thread the needle with Rex here. Ooh. RC, come on. We used to be friends. RC, we're cool. I've helped you many times. Alright, we're not cool anymore. Andy's massive room. What child needs this much furniture, this many desks? many toy trains. Deadly toy trains. Oh, the army men, too. I love in, uh, in three, ooh, checkpoint. I love in three, um, uh oh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, I got caught in no man's land there. <laughs> Beginning of three when they're, they're about to, Annie's about to, I guess, go away to college or whatever, and they're getting rid of all the, a lot of his toys. His mom wants him to donate, and all the army men are packing up and about to jump out the window. And Woody's like, wait, wait, no, what are you doing? It's like, come on. Mission's done, soldier. It's like, Andy's a grown up now. He's like, you know, us soldiers are always the first to go. <laughs> it's so true, because they're just cheap little plastic pieces. Barely made it through. Always the first to go in the garbage. Andy, unable to find Buzz, takes Woody with him as his mother starts the car. Next stop, Pizza Planet! But as the car drives away, Buzz appears and grabs the bumper, eager for revenge and blood. Oh wait, sell the score with Woody for knocking him out the window. Buzz, I'm so glad you're alright! You know, Sheriff, we don't practice revenge on my planet. But we're not on my planet, are we? Buzz swings at Woody, and when the car stops for gas, they tumble out unseen. Oh, right, this part. As you try and tire him out. <laughs> That's a uh, double meaning there. I didn't get any extra health, I noticed. Watch out! Watch out! So you gotta uh, try to get that to land on his head like that, around him. And that hurts him, apparently. And this is how you do this part, I found out. I could not figure out how to, I mean, to save my life, I could not figure out how to do this part the first time. How does that not hit him? Come on. Come on. There you go. And beyond! What if that's actually Tim Allen's voice? I feel like a lot of the uh, game's memory or resources went to just putting those sound effects in of the voices. Come on, that fell on him. Give me a, cut me some slack there. There we go. He may kill me here. Yeah, I ran a real estate there. That, that was uh, not a gimme though. That was the opposite of a gimme. However he hit me there. That, I feel like that didn't touch me at all, but... What are you gonna do? Watch out! Watch out! I think it was um for these games. Crap. It was um for Tom Hanks. It was his brother, Dan Hanks or whatever his name is. Yo, you want to hit Buzz? Yeah, now it moves. Now that he's walking through it. Now it's where I need it to be. 
Yeah, I guess they have pretty similar voices, Tom and his brother. I just always thought that was funny. He does the voice work for the video games and things like that. That should get him. There you go. That's my... How did that not hit me? It did the first time when I was in a much better situation that time. Watch out! I like they had the actual tire spec information on that tire too. The big one at least. Oh, come on. That was perfect. If I do say so myself. I was about to stop and hit that, but I realized that would be a huge mistake. All right, let's just hit him here. Bounce back. Come on. Not getting any favors right now. Watch out. Watch out. No? Come on. It's rough going. There we go. Got him. There we go. That's pretty good. Go back. Go back. It's coming back. That one lasted a bit longer than usual, if you ask me. Is he dead? You done? Good. Buzz died that day. <laughs> Rubber poisoning. Ooh, extra life. All right, so we're still at even. Buzz and Woody finish just in time to see Andy and his mother driving off. I'm a lost toy, cries Woody. But then, just when all seemed lost, a truck arrived that could take them to Pizza Planet. Quickly, they hopped on board. Woody and Buzz arrive at Pizza Planet, but find the entrance closely watched. How can we get inside, wonders Buzz, until he spots Woody with a Mega Gulp cup on his head. Sheriff, I like the way you think. Mega Gulp. Take off on 7-Eleven's Big Gulp. Hey, fellas. Big Gulps, huh? All right. <laughs> we'll see you later. Well, dumb and dumber there. Ah, here in Pizza Planet. Where, uh, ironically, there is not a single slice of pizza in the entire level. <laughs> Just these miniature burgers. These are like barely even sliders. Because if you look at like, the scale, they're uh, about the diameter of Woody's feet. Oops. Blended in there. I like the animation of the, um,. You'd see, like, as we walk by, the, uh, you get, like, kind of an angle on the, uh, the seating, the booths. Just nice little detail. Figure this is one of the later SNES games to come out. But yeah, the, the animation is interesting in this game. It's unlike anything else, really, on the system. Best I can tell. I, I can't really get a feel for when someone hurts you. Like, maybe you just need to not be moving. Like, I duck. And that... Like, I could just stand still. And, and then I, oh. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these people. Sometimes they hurt me, sometimes they don't. Why does Pizza Planet... Like, why did that not hurt me? And why does Pizza Planet have so many... Seven machines. Whoa, that was dangerous. No checkpoints. Sucks. Uh, I was out the other night, um, walking around, walking around town in the city, and um, I saw a couple bros. Looked like they were in their, you know, probably mid twenties, and they had matching Pizza Planet T-shirts on. And they were uh, pretty, pretty tipsy. <laughs> Clearly had just gone to see Toy Story together, the new one, which was I thought was kind of sweet. 
just a random thing just to be like hey bro what do you want to do tonight let's go see toy story bro oh yeah then we'll get wicked drunk or maybe they get wicked drunk before toy story i don't know <sighs> just like that image it's for everyone you know there's a little bit of everyone in the theater when i saw it earlier older folks younger folks this one kid who kept saying that's so funny to like everything they showed a, a preview for the new Frozen movie, Frozen 2. And, uh, and Frozen, the, the title is in Roman numerals, you know? The 2 is Roman numerals. And the kid was like, what? Why does it say Frozen 11? He's like, why does it say 11? <laughs> I forget what his mom said, but uh, it's pretty funny. It's cute. That machine is clearly defective. Whack it, alien. Not whack an alien. Whack a alien. Who doesn't remember that one? But yeah, video games in a video game. How meta. Why are all these hot dogs and burgers? Keep, why do they keep falling off of these tables? There's no one there to eat them. And where is all the pizza? Wait it out sometimes. Level's really not that hard. Okay. I don't know when you would hit a paper plane. There's no reason to jump in this level. Oh god. Man, Buzz got me off. But not like that. Alright, made it to the end. That was weird. 300 stars. Oh, we got an extra continue. And an extra life. Awesome. I don't even know our save state for some reason. While Woody looks for Andy, Buzz spots a claw machine. He mistakes it for a spaceship that can take him back to Sector 4 and jumps into it. Woody, knowing he can't face the other toys without Buzz, dives into the machine after him. Inside the claw machine, try to find Buzz, who has disappeared into the depths of the claw machine. Uh, Alright, this level. This level's tricky. There's a lot of stuff that can kill you inside a claw machine in case you weren't sure. I was like getting these things, which are meant to guide the coins without them, you know, coming off of the uh, deviating from their path. But clearly, it doesn't seem to. Oh, forgot about that. It doesn't seem to affect the trajectory of the coins one way or the other. So, think about that some reason. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tricky. There's some Sonic stuff right here, or some uh, Mega Man stuff, maybe better said. So it fakes you out. That's when it comes in there. It goes through there, comes out, and there you go. That's how you do that. Hopefully I won't die and have to go through that again. I need a checkpoint. That is the point. Hmm... Close. Ah, oh, this, this part's not fun. Oog! I thought I'd pace that pretty well, actually, but no, not so much. I'm alright at claw machines, though, I gotta say. In my youth, I, uh... There was this seafood restaurant my extended family always used to go to, and I... And they uh... Or the, the next door restaurant had a claw machine, and I was... I always prided myself on being pretty damn good at that. My cousins be like, oh my gosh, how'd you do that? You know, because everyone assumes they're rigged. And they'd always just, you know, give me a quarter and be like, go win me something. And I'm like, it's not that easy, but I had to play it cool. So and maybe one more of like my own coins would have gone into it just so I could seem like I was getting it on the first try. Don't tell anyone that. Let's keep that between us. Son of a... Ow. out. Ah, damn turbine. Keep our head down. Oh, those things explode for no reason in the proximity of a wooden cowboy figurine. Ah, this part is very unforgiving. 
This is the part that reminds me of Sonic a little bit. There we go. Man, I love a checkpoint. We got a checkpoint? Wow. Okay. And I got no health for that. Alright. I just feel like the developers got lazy. They're like, they wanted to make it a point to give you health at every checkpoint, and then they just got sloppy and lazy and forgot about it. Did the things that German and French people do instead. I don't really have a uh, stereotype for German or French people. I guess I could create one now and say that German and French people forget to uh, create a, a consistency in their games. So take that, Germany and France. Anyway. There we go. Oof. Close. Good lord. Alright, good to get all those out of the way. It was gonna jump at the crest. Right there at the top. That's physics working in your favor, people. Whether you're jumping left or right or just straight up. A lot of coins going in. Are people playing this at, right now? Is that what's going on? Looks like it says Izzy or Uzi before it explodes in the, uh, the diode. Am I using that word correctly? Probably not. going up and down. That can't be how that works. My god. I'm telling you. Apollo 11 had less machinery in it than this damn cl Come on. Ooh. It's close. Star? There we go. Back even. Ooh, a visitor from the outside. If you will help save our friends who are trapped inside the machine, we will reward you by taking you to see the claw. Oh, man. I guess uh, it's a bit of a spoiler, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. These guys are not in Toy Story 4. They played a big part in 3, obviously, but yeah. Missed them in 4 now that I think about it. Uh, the quicker you get, the more stars you get at the end. Uh, I had trouble with this, hence the save state. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. I thought it was a different part. This is okay, this is like... <laughs> suddenly we're playing Wolfenstein. How weird is this? Just, you think you're just playing a normal 2D, uh, side-scrolling game. 2.5D, whatever you want to call it. With the graphics of this game. But, um... No, it's Wolfenstein. <laughs> with these little guys. Keep expecting Hitler to be behind one of these doors. Arctung! Hello! Hello! I wonder how much development went into just this part. Just. I don't make video games, I don't design video games. I think that's. I've never said that before, maybe on this channel, but Hello. I think most people know that. <laughs> but uh, I can't imagine it's. And, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like a simple undertaking to just create a 3D kind of aspect to this game which didn't have Hello. that kind of capability built in from the start, you know? I don't know. It's weird. But there's, I don't know, there's something, uh, I don't know, that you kind of appreciate the effort Hello. that they wanted to make this game you feel like they wanted to like put big chunks of this kind of style into the game but like it just limitations didn't uh, allow that all right that thing's moving now i gotta get over here so i did this that's why i know where to go even though i mean it's also very linear hello hello it's very annoying i don't even know who's saying that all right so that thing's gonna move these guys never um they never took off like the minions did in Despicable Me for whatever reason. I don't know what that's about. Hello. They never had a spin-off movie, but I guess there was never the call for it either. They kind of remind me of the minions. There you go. 44 seconds. That gets me some stars. Mmm. On the nose. Is that another extra life? Thank you, stranger, for your help. 
We will take you to the claw. It decides who will go and who will stay. Shh. The claw moves. In horror, what he sees Sid, a kid who's cruel to all his toys, controls the claw, and he plans on getting Buzz. Alright, this part is tricky, so I'm definitely going to do a save state here. I haven't had to call one back yet, which is nice, but uh, we're getting to the point in the game where Jamie and I had, uh, yeah, we struggled enough. Alright, so in this one, you kick up these little guys, and then you shoot them up into the claw, and they don't explain any of that to you. I mean, they say, like, hit the claw, but they don't say how to, like, launch them up at the thing. There we go. I like it when I don't lose any ground, because ultimately it's trying to move him to the right. Um, where Sid is. Actually, in that turn, he would have moved all the way to the left. So, I would have been okay, probably just letting it, him move it a bit to the left first, and then give me some more real estate, if you know what I mean. Good lord. Mm, all right. We'll keep that going. Any coins do you have left, too? You gotta time it just right. That's the annoying bit about it, you know? There we go. Perfect. Give up just a bit of ground on that one. One of these, he just makes a beeline for it. There we go. If I do this on the first try, that'll be pretty cool. Stop it. There we go. I crushed it that time. Yeah, we, we had some difficulty last time. It just goes back to my theory that you spend a little time with the game, you know it's coming, you play that much better. It's so much easier the second time around. Second time or else, step by step there. You must not fight the will of the claw. All must obey the claw. Ooh, the claw moves again. He's throwing little gang signs out there. That's some very, uh, that's some, that's slippery slope way of thinking there. That's how Hitler got in power. Just, um, anyway, that's a, that's a tangent. Sid uses the claw to pick up Buzz. Woody, trying to keep Buzz from being taken, grabs Buzz's legs before he can let go. He's lifted up in the air as well. Smiling, Sid moves both toys toward the prize shoot. So that was a big waste of time, basically, that level. He was going to get Buzz regardless. But anyway. All right, double prizes. A Buzz Lightyear and a stupid cowboy doll for all oh, just a few measly quarters. <laughs> Sid stuffs his new toys deep into his backpack and with a second evil laugh heads home to play. Sid closes the door to his bedroom and pulls Woody out of his backpack. Lifting up a large magnifying glass to catch the sun, Sid trains a spot of hot light on Woody's forehead. Where are your rebel friends now? Little Star Wars reference there. Make your way across Sid's desk, but look out for Sid. This part is hard. This is where it gets really hard. All right, let's do a save state. I don't remember. Killing Paul Bunyan, Blue Ox of Doom. Is that like Duke Nukem? So Sid's room sucks. He's into uh, DIY and heavy rock and... He's got friggin' darts falling from the ceiling. His room's huge, just like every place else in this game. It's very unforgiving. Woo. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. All right, give me that back. It's good. Okay. Go. Indiana Jones moment. Boo da da boo. Flammable. Heavy. He loves his heavy rock. That's it. Makes sense. Fits with the character. You wouldn't expect him to be listening to the I mean, look at that. Come on, man. They messed up my Kenny G joke. Kenny G joke. There you go. 
feel like Sid one day, he's gonna be a, like a rocket scientist or something. Astrophysicist. Or maybe he'll just work at the gas station, I don't know. Deliver pizzas for Pizza Planet. I think that's the way to do that, just bolt right through it. I hate to do it though, but I'm gonna have to do a save state before all these pits. Pits are cheap. We gotta counter it with something equally as cheap. That's how I feel. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. Sometimes knowing you have that safe state in your pocket takes the pressure off. So it's not really legit when I say it like that. It kind of takes away from it a bit, but... Oh god, oh god! Yeah, that was gonna take some damage there. Give me a damn heart! And how the hell are you supposed to get that? Ah, oh, there's a hook there. Eh. That seemed... Ow! That was right, Woody. I gotta say, these stars and the ones that give you health look exactly the same to me. They gave me plenty of those to work with. Alright, so they're a bit darker. I guess you can say that. Damn it! So unforgiving. Of course he has spiked yo-yos. You mean that happy child? Oh, even uh, what he calls him, Mr. Lightbeer, in the first movie. Wait, whatever you say. Yeah, oh, just a second, Mr. Lightbeer. <laughs> Mr. Lightbeer. Why is the heavy rock book backwards now all of a sudden? Not sure what that's about. Oh, all right. They did say watch out for the light. What if toys just to. Oh my God. Hot, hot, hot. So now we're just running constantly. I can't control it. Just dodge back and forth here. Kind of pace myself that way. Oh, and there's some cereal. Happy child? Just has a bowl of cereal lying about. Lots of cola. Car pain. Paint, possibly. No. Oh. Unfortunately, never seems to be running across, and I just know to, to flop at the right time. That's six cents the toys seem to have. Hot, 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 hot. Can't jump during this, but it's probably best that I can't. Fortunately, it's just these yo yo's. Famous last words. Who needs this much soda? This generic cola. Sid. Diabetes, diabetes before you're... Where the hell? Where am I putting my... Why don't we just crack one of these sodas open? Put out the uh, flames that way. And who has multiple bowls of cereal, too? You finish one first, Sid. Come on. Then you move on. Racking up the star count. When Sid is called downstairs by his mother, he gives Woody a chance to look around the bedroom for Buzz. What could have happened to him? And unknown to Woody, lurking in the dark shadows, something was watching his every move very closely. Battle of the Mutant Toys. Buzz is somewhere in Sid's room and you have to find him. But keep moving and look out for... things. I think this is about as far as we got, actually. Jamie and I. So I'm, I'm in, uh... I'm in no man's land now. This, this just gets harder and harder. Which, you know, you would you would want from a game. That's what you'd expect. That's alright, give me a fresh set of health. Scud! Oh, that's his big dog. I remember that now. Good lord. Oh god. Oh god. My goodness, how are you even supposed to get through that part? That thing seemed like that was pretty constant. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Thank you for that. I don't know how I meant to get higher up, though. Ooh. All right, not a fan of things hurting me that I can't see. I like that I can tie up the bigger ones, too, though. Are you still... Oh. Man, he 
you gotta go all the way back. It's rough. Hmm. Let's see if we can do this here. There we go. That's cool. I don't mind that. Alright, that thing's doing its thing. Mm-mm-mm. About to break in the song with disappointing sounds. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that was a gimme. I needed that. Good lord! Oh, come on! That's the worst thing that's ever happened in this Let's Play. In case you were keeping track, that was awful. Just as I thought I was getting the hang of it. Some uh, gladiator type stuff here. You can't jump off. On. Oh god. On. Where am I supposed to go at that point? It's... Okay. All right. Okay. Man, I am not connecting on this, huh? Say the least. They give you a little bit of a, a stretch on that, which is nice. Yep, I was waiting for that guy to hit me. All right, I'm up here. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I don't have a checkpoint either, do I? Nope. You know what? Screw it. I'm calling on my first save state. Can't see nothing. Here we go. That's all I was looking for. You can kill me now. It's fine. Happy child? I can't get over that. <laughs> Sid is crazy. That happy child over there? Oh, that was a gimme. I know I just hook on to that. Cola, cola, cola. He's crushed some of these. this mechanic down. Boom. <sighs> we'll swing there. I like that animation. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oof. I'm gonna say, I, I, I never know how far I need to go. I don't like not, not knowing what's beneath me. I think I can make that jump, yeah. Where are we going here? Are we going here? Okay. Yeah, this is some Bionic Commando stuff right here. Hey. How you doing, Buzz? What? Oh, I'm using this karate chop. That's awesome. So I'm about to die. Ah, uh, the timing's not the best! Oh god! <laughs> Alright. Sort of know what's going on now. Alright, I can jump on that from here. This. Ooh! This is gonna have to be the life right here. Oof! Screw you, little guy. Little guy. Yeah. 
Ooh, it's not worth it. I'll wait that out. Ah, I led that. I let it. I don't know what I mean by that. I just felt like shouting, I let it. It's, the annoying bit is like when you when you have to backtrack, sometimes... Ooh, how did that not hit me? The, the getting back to where you were is even harder than where you've been. It's more dangerous. Child. I'm gonna stop saying that. Such a good line. right there come on where how far are we going here let's okay did that did i get hurt man wow that was rough about to call in one of those continues come on buzz let's get out of here woody i'm not really a space ranger i'm just a toy just a child's toy buzz listen to me you're not any child's toy. You're Andy's toy. And you're his favorite. I... Uh-oh. What do we got? Oh, Sid. It's a good animation, Sid. With an evil laugh. He loves that evil laugh. Does that say head dork? Metal dork? What does that say? Sid picks up Buzz and straps a large rocket to his back. Houston, we are go for launch. Laughing, Sid takes Buzz outside. Woody, with little time to save Buzz, calls out to the mutant toys. Look, there's a good toy out there, and he needs your help, please. The toys will help, but to get Buzz, they'll have to face Scud, Sid's dog. This is going to last about two seconds. Use Roller Bob to escape across Sid's house. I think we saw this from the, uh, the demo. Alright, so this feels very... Reminiscent of the Rex level. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, son of a... We're good. Back in. Alright. So we'll do a nice save state right here. Scud, Sid's pet dog. Okay. It reminds me of uh, something from Little Nemo. Ooh, yeah, that got me last time too, didn't it? And that got me that time, barely. Ah, it's good! Taking up half the screen. That's not cool, Scud. Wait, what hit me? I feel like this level's gonna last a lot longer than that. Yep. A rocket up the patoot. What a way to go. Mm. I remembered it was coming that time. Damn it. Oh. Ugh. Frickin' scud. Where's Boomer? Where the hell the, uh... Andy's dog's name is to protect us. Ugh. Ugh. It's just you never know if you want to be at the front of the screen or the back of the screen. Oh, there's a checkpoint. That's good. 
Yep, we'll need it. <laughs> Oh, crazy, uh, where is all this crap coming from, by the way? Those don't seem, uh, really, I mean, if they explode on you, they hurt. Okay, alright, this is in his kitchen. Is his mom throwing these at us? I didn't even see that rocket. This game is so hard. <laughs> Lord, it's a game for children. Another checkpoint. That's good. I just needed infinite continues. I think that's that's what I need. I guess we do have those. Um. <laughs> this is just so crazy. We do have the uh, the passwords if we need them. I don't. Where where do you avoid some of this stuff? This is just stupid. I can't go back any further. Give me rockets up my ass in a second here. Okay. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, we got 500 stars. Do I get something special for that? No. Seems very arbitrary when they give you stuff. The toys save Buzz by showing Sid they are really alive, which scares Sid so bad that he goes to therapy for the rest of his life. Did he vow to never hurt toys again? I guess I remember that. The toys celebrate until Woody sees a truck leaving Andy's house next door. Buzz! And he's moving out without us! Woody's just able to grab hold of a strap hanging off the back of the fast-moving truck, but Buzz is left behind. I know, thanks, Woody. I can use RC to go back and find Buzz. Gee, I hope Andy charge your batteries, RC. Thanks for coming back, Woody. No problem, Buzz. But right now, we have to catch back up to that moving van before we end up as lost toys. It's an ongoing theme with them. Especially in the fourth one, you should see that. Uh, right you are, Woody. Let's go. All right. Keep racing to... I don't know, it's going to be really hard. Whatever it is. Oh, this is another top-down level? I like these. These seem safe. Nice and easy. All the stars. This is okay. Wait. Fake me out, stars. Oh, there, I've got a battery. Yeah, I like this. This is nice and easy after that damn scud level. Or spud, whatever his name was. Whoop. It's like Fester's Quest, but with... It just feels like Fester's Quest a little bit. Just a bit more zoomed in. <laughs> a little rocket on the back. Come on, battery. Like it always fills you up all the way. It's not just like, we'll give you a half with each battery. So if you really end up sucking, you can just survive by getting the next battery. I should be following these jelly beans. Oh, is that it? Oh. Yeah, that, those are easy comparatively. It's crazy. Um, it's no good. RC isn't fast enough to keep up with the truck. We need to go even quicker. Okay, let's light the rocket on my back to boost us after the truck. Hold on tight. Here we go. Buzz voice hurts my, uh, my throat there. Rocket man, this is it. The truck is in sight, and Andy's mom's car is just in front of it. Reach the car, and you're no longer lost toys. Good luck. That's a little, uh... Star Fox there. Oh my god. What are we... Oh my goodness. Watch out! That's like my uncle. Watch out! <laughs> oh, hit the traffic light. That's fine. If this is the last level, then we're, we're okay. Oh. Here it comes! I don't remember that being his one of his catchphrases. Here it comes. Damn it. Just stay in the back. Give myself more time to react. Looks like my old car. Oop. Oh, that's just instant death. I did not catch that last time. Okay. Apparently, hitting a traffic light is instant death for a toy. 
keep that in mind. I guess if you just like smash into something rather than grazing something that it will murder you. Alright, so let's just stay low until we don't have to. And the stars kind of guide us. The, uh, the red pickup truck and the uh, maroon looking whatever that coop is. Very popular designs in the Yep, that killed me. Popular designs in the uh, in the 90s, the mid 90s. <laughs> All right, that's the state right there. Like, just kind of hurt me, bounced me back off. I know it's not realistic, but come on, we're flying toys. Let's get real here. Or let's get less Here's real, up. I guess is my request. These Here's orange up. diddler vans are killing me. They're they clear the they clear up. so much. Here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. There's just not enough stars to really guide me. Watch out! Ow. Watch out! Oh Lord. There's a low ass hanging traffic light. Is that it? Uh oh. Wait, where are we going? Ow, here it comes. Oh. Here it comes. I mean, here this is comes. the van, right? Here it comes. It, all right, shut up, Buzz. I get it. Oh, that's not the move. That's just a big old truck. Here it comes. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch Seems out. like a bad idea. Why not? That's Andy's mom's car. I recognize that from the movie. Here it comes. Maybe it's not. I don't remember it having such a tint. Okay, there you go. Watch out. But you lost, because you didn't get that last star. Uh-oh, is it not over? What else could there be? That's the whole movie. Woody, Buzz, they were right here in this box. See, his mother answers with a smile. I knew they'd turn up soon enough. Andy gives his favorite toys a hug as Woody breathes a huge... Uh, I'm going to upgrade that big to huge. A huge sigh of relief. That night, after all the toys were unpacked, Woody and Buzz told them all about their big adventure. What we found is that we toys have to stick together. Hey, Buzz? Woody, I couldn't agree more. From that day on, Woody and Buzz were best friends. And whenever a new toy came into the bedroom, they were welcomed as friends as well. For the toys had learned a great lesson. While it's nice to be Andy's favorite, all the toy really needs to be is the best toy it can be. Oh, it's a nice, tasteful shot of them in the winter time. So if I had turned off the story, would it just end after that last level? <laughs> Who wants to play the game for that? Well done. You have completed Toy Story. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for playing. There you go. All right. Wow. That game was not easy. Got kind of tricky there at the end, but it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah. Let's enjoy the... Is, is there music? There is not music. This is. This feels very... Very creepy. <laughs> Senior producer, Steve Riding. How is there not music right now? That is so weird. Well, um, okay. You know what? There's no music. That gives me, uh, that, that brings me to my final uh, talking point I was going to mention here. Uh, the new Brigance record, it's actually out today. It's coming out today. Available, uh, well, there's a link in the description. You can listen to it on Bandcamp. I'm going to put up a clip at the end of this video. And, uh, yeah, Randy, you got a friend in me. It doesn't sound like that, the new music, the new breaking stuff. But, um, but check that out. And uh, I'm very proud of it. And uh, it's the, the namesake of the channel. That's where it comes from, in case anyone was wondering. So you can check that out with the link in the description. And, um, yeah. Thank you so much for all the support, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Go see Toy Story 4 if you haven't. 
And uh, if you saw the first three, I recommend seeing three before you see this one. But, you know, you don't, you don't have to. But uh, if you do, you will probably cry at the end. If you've seen all of the other films over the years. It's just, you know, you just grow up with these characters like I did. And it just, it hits you that much harder when the fourth one ends. So, anyway, this game was alright. Very tricky. But there you go. Toy Story for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I'll see you guys next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. <laughs>